Finally, I have a question for the Prime Minister. Um, Prime Minister, we, as I said just now, uh, we believe in the integrity of our government led by you. And we are not against ministers living, in, living well, living in GCBs, like what uh, uh, Minister uh, Shambhugan has uh, tried to say that we are against that just now. Uh, we are not. But I don't think many would disagree that this episode, from this episode, there is a perception of a, a, an amount of conflict of interest and unfairness in the process of renting the two bungalows. Although they may not be, and we trust the investigation uh, by CBIB and also SMTO, although there may not be an outright misconduct of any public servant. But the result is that there's this perception there. Okay? And I, what the question I asked uh, Minister Edwin Tong is exactly trying to drive at that. Why is the package so coincidentally favourable? That's one thing. Eh? Uh, it may be so coincidental. Okay. So as a result, I, I'd like to ask you uh, one question, uh, Prime Minister, is that from this episode, would you say that, uh, would you uh, commit that from now on, the code of conduct of the PAP government will be applied more stringently? Learning from this episode. You think that, you, you say that, no, the, the, this episode doesn't show any shortcoming or any uh, uh, in the application of the COC. This is a kind of standard we can uh, expect from the PAP government. We'll take it as that. Thank you. PM. I thank Mr. Leong for clarifying that he's not against ministers living in GCBs. He just wants to play it up. <laughs> because having said that he has nothing against ministers living wherever they feel they wish to live, he then raises this alleged perception of, perception of conflict of interest and unfairness when we have spent the last five hours explaining why there's no actual conflict of interest, why potential conflicts of interest have been cut off, and therefore there is no possibility of a reasonable perception arising of conflict of interest. And therefore, when he says the PAP Code of Conduct, do I intend for it to be stringently applied, what he really means is, should I or should I not allow ministers to rent GCBs or to rent black and whites? My answer is, I do not object to ministers renting black and whites. They live within their salary. They live within their means. Some have come into office with means because they have had successful careers before. Some may have inherited wealth. Who knows? Some come in without much. They live with what they have. They comply with the laws. They do things properly. And most importantly, they continue to do their duties as a, as a minister and to serve their constituents and to serve Singaporeans and to make a contribution on my team as an honest, capable... There's a phrase in the minister's um, swearing-in text. In all things, to be a true and faithful minister. That's what we expect of all PAP ministers.